a fair amount of emails and messages about, uh, you know, how do you make sure you don't get doubles and how do you know that you uh, have, uh, you know, certain games and how can you remember having X amount of games and all this kind of stuff. And without the software, I'd pretty much be screwed. Um, this is a pay software. Uh, you can get a free demo for it uh, from their website. And the website's collectors.com. And uh, it's the game collector software, and that's collectors with a Z or a Z. And anyways, what it allows you to do is input games that you have purchased, and from there you can, or somehow acquired, and you from from there it automatically categorizes it with uh, certain certain aspects of uh, you know the genre, and uh, it gives you cover art and everything. And then down at the bottom here, it shows you uh, how many. Uh, games for each system you have and has a little bar graph and you can screw around with all these different settings and you can go to details uh, well I don't have anything up there but you can change the, the, the graphs and the way that they look and you have pie charts and and uh, just everything that you could possibly want so just going through some stuff here um, for example I only have four 3DO games so the first one's D and it goes from alpha well, it defaults from alphabetical and you can change it from uh, platform to genre it'll automatically change uh, you know, your release date and all that kind of stuff so it gives you the information down here in the bottom window which is adjustable so it, uh, for example D is a 3DO it's an adventure game it was the 196 game that I've added to my collection um, purchase price um, I paid five dollars for it um, I don't put all of the information in for all my games I really should but it's really time consuming especially when you buy a lot of them uh, you can click on these links down here and it will tell you uh, uh, where you, like, how you could buy them from Amazon uh, since I'm Canadian Amazon.ca com to see what at UK uh, Germany France uh, tells you what language it is number of discs it comes in now for for the 3do there wasn't uh, too many games for that uh, but when you start getting into certain things like um like the the original nintendo okay uh you can, i don't know if you can see this or not but i have 458 games for the original nintendo and it's it's kind of hard to keep track of them and and it, and there's certain games that just aren't there's no information on like i have a, a bootleg 12 in one and there's no image for that and i have a bootleg 76 in one there's no image for that either but uh, you can pretty much click on any game it gives you all the information on it and uh you can right click on it and uh you know, it'll it'll update your games automatically. You can find new cover images if you want. You can remove a game if you sold it or traded it. You can link it to other games. You can move it to a wish list. So say it's a game that you're really looking for. And uh, it's, it's really easy to find, uh, to, you know, games that you have and games you don't have. Um, but, like, say, for example, I've got two copies of, of Bad News Baseball. And I've got three copies of Bandai Challenge Pebble Beach and two copies of Baseball. It's really easy just to quickly scroll through and see... Where you have two copies, like two copies of Batman, two copies of Battletoads, I've got five copies of Blades of Steel, uh, two copies of Chip Chippendale Rescue Rangers, um, and just goes on and on. I got three copies of Double Dragon, four copies of Dragon Warrior One, and it's easy for you to go through and just see what you have doubles of. And uh, so, if you want to trade for somebody or make a list of stuff you have available, so you can get some harder to find games or games that you're looking for, like you start getting down to some of these ones down here, like. Uh, you head down here to almost there, like Super Mario Brothers. Like I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine copies of Super Mario Brothers One. I've got I don't know six or seven Super Mario Brothers Three. So, anyways, um, or say for example, you want to get a collection of all the games. So, like for Ninja Turtles, there's four Ninja Turtles uh, games released for the uh, original Nintendo. So Ninja Turtles One. Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, Ninja Turtles 3, Manhattan Project, and Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighter. So I have all four of those. So it's really easy to find, you know, games that you're looking for. And you can search up here. So if I wanted to type in Ninja Turtles, I can just type in Ninja. But the only problem is it's going to give me all Ninja games I have. But it'll tell me for what platform. So for GameCube, I have Naruto, Clash of the Ninja. There's one. For the NES, there's Kid Nicky, Radical Ninja, Ninja Crusaders, Ninja Gaiden 1, 2, and 3. And for the Super Nintendo, I have uh, Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. So it's 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 a it's a fantastic program as far as keeping track of your stuff. Um, it, down at the bottom here, it, it gives you some sort of information. Uh, like I have a uh, one thousand two hundred one games. I have zero pieces of hardware, and obviously I have hardware, but I just haven't inputted it all because it's just I know what I have. So <laughs> you know, it's, it's pretty simple to keep track of hardware in comparison to a thousand plus games. So I've got eighteen platforms of games. Now there's certain systems I don't have. Uh, 
platforms built in for. Like, I don't have platforms built in for Xbox. I've only got two Xbox games. I actually just added PlayStation 2 games today because I decided I'm going to start keeping some of the role-playing games and harder to find games. So I added Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy X2, Harvest Moon, and Kingdom Hearts 2. But uh, when you start getting into games like, let's say, for Super Nintendo, I've got 218 Super Nintendo games. Or for uh, Sony PlayStation 1, i got 96 games. And you can go down and you can see how many of certain ones that you have. Um, it, it's really helpful when you get into stuff like uh, sports games, like really common games that you see all the time. And you know, geez, I don't know if I have FIFA 99 or I have FIFA 98 or FIFA 2000 or FIFA whatever. It's it's kind of difficult to do that. Like for example, I've got three copies of Final Fantasy VII. Now that might seem like an excessive amount, but there were three copies released. There was Final Fantasy VII Black Label, Final Fantasy Black Label, uh, Seven Black Label with the misprint, and then there was Final Fantasy VII uh, Greatest Hits Edition. And that's why I also have. Uh, Final Fantasy um, 8 here, and this one's the Greatest Hits Edition, and I have Final Fantasy Black Label, and same goes with, uh, I guess they only have, they only had uh, Final Fantasy 9 as a regular one, but uh, like, you know, I got three copies of Harvest Moon Back to Nature, which is a hard-to-find game, uh, but uh, one of them's missing the front cover, one of them's really badly scratched, and then I got one that's in, in good shape. So it's 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 good to know, and you can make little notes about all this stuff. And, like, for example, here's all the information here where it tells you all about the game. And, uh, you know, if you want to you wanna add something, let's uh, add a game that I don't have. Uh, for Super Nintendo, I don't have Chrono Trigger. So uh, you can just take, you can type in Chrono Trigger, or you can just, let's just type in Trigger. So we'll type in Trigger, and it'll come up with Chrono Trigger. Now, I don't have this game, so you can click on it, and, like, geez... I don't know if this is the right game I have. And then you can click on that link there and it'll load up a little video, f a little picture thing here. You can click on it and it'll actually give you different options. So there's this option here, which is um, just a different barcode on the back. And then there's a default US edition. So I'm just going to click this one. I don't have it, so I'm going to remove it. But I'm going to click it and you choose Add, Add Selected. So you choose that. And now you can go and it'll load up automatically the last game that you input. This is Super Nintendo Chrono Trigger. And it'll be right there. Now, for example, I'm going to remove this because I don't have that. Yes, I want to remove that. Uh, say you want to add a game that you don't have. So what's going to happen is it's going to load this up here. And uh, let's just make up a game. Let's just okay, call it, I don't know, Hi Guys. <laughs> so we invented a game called Hi Guys. You can choose what it is here, and it'll be, I don't know, a puzzle game. And it'll be uh, for some ridiculous system. Well, let's actually put it just in normal Nintendo. And you got the release year, let's say 19. Oops, what the heck? Oh, sorry. Got to drop this down. So the release year will be, I don't know, 1987. And it'll come out on January 1st. Why is that so big? Oh, sorry. Just, what? Oh, I got numb lock off. Sorry. So January 1st will be the day that it was released. Um, it'll format. It'll be a cartridge. So you can just go down here and say, okay, it's a cartridge base. The publisher was one of these couple hundred guys. Chemco made it. And it was developed by... Uh, Argonaut Software Limited, and the audience rating is adults only. And uh, so you can put in all this information. You can say it's in my collection for sale on my wish list on order. It's not in my collection. I want to rate it as whatever, a million stars. Um, and then I want to, you can go up here. I can actually change the name from Hi Guys to something else. Um, let's just type in, um, shoot. I need a game that I don't have. Um, crap. What's a good game? Let's just say Tetris Tangent version. So they already have a a thing for it. So I've got Tetris Tangent written in here. So I've got Tetris 1, I've got Tetris 2, and now Tetris Tangent. Now what you can do with this is you can right click on it, you can edit the game. And then when you go up here, you can type in descriptions and notes. You can type in the details about it, how much you paid for it, your system requirements. So uh, condition, the current value, uh, where 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 you bought it from. So, for example, if I bought it from the Goodwill or I bought it from Value Village or whatever it is. Um, descriptions and notes, so more information about it. Now, covers, this is an interesting one. You can either upload your own or you can find online. And what it does is it automatically inputs the name of the game, the system that it's on, and then it's just loading up a thing here. And uh, it'll search for it. And here you go. There's Tension Tetris cover right there. So I'm going to say, yes, I want to use that image. And there it is. And uh, screenshots and links. You can add your own. You can search for the Internet. And just click OK. So now we've got an image for it right there. Now, I don't have Tension Tetris, so I'm going to remove this. But it's, it's a real awesome program. And uh, it's worth it's worth the investment. If You, you can sign up through people's referrals. I'm not going to make you. I'm not going to give mine because it doesn't really make 
me any money and it's not i'm not making this video to make money off of it i just want to show you guys that um with this software it can really save you time and it saves you money because i <laughs> i can't count the amount of times that i've i've purchased games before i had this where i already had it especially common games like when you've got you know three or four games that are all all the same except for the year like for example nfl quarterback club 98 99 2000 now it's not gonna wait are those the same Sorry. Yeah, for some reason it's used the same image for those two. See, it's a good thing I checked that. But it tells you I added that one. That was my 1,041 game that I added. And uh, when you get into games that... Uh, where are some, some ones that I just recently picked up? Final Fantasy. This is one of the most recent ones. So 1,257. Well, I've only got 1,201 games. It automatically tells you what games you have as far as your total number of games. But I've obviously taken off 56 games at least out of here that I've sold or I traded or done something else with. You know, and it, it can give you an idea of, you know, oh, shoot, I've only got four 3DO games, or, man, I've only got one Sega CD game, or I've only got one TurboGrafx CD game, or whatever. Maybe you can start looking to, to bolster your collection in, 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 in those regards as far as what it is. It's an awesome program. You guys should really check it out. It's collectors.com, and it's called Game Collectors. They also make movie collectors, so you can put your DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff, and probably other collectors, but I know those two for sure. So it's a fantastic program. Um, I suggest you support it, and it's a really, really good way to keep track of what you have. And, uh, yeah, it's awesome. There's so many things that I didn't even cover that this program offers. Like, if you want, you can just go by images up here at the top. When you, when you start loading up stuff like this, like, you know, 100-plus images, it kind of gets a little ridiculous because it just it loads up hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of images for you. Um, but, uh, you know, you can scan your own stuff. You can upload it and, and use that for, for other people's references. And it's just it's just so useful. You can add wish lists. You can add hardware. You can you can link it to your smartphone, which I have, even though my phone sucks ass because the battery is dying in it. But you can link it to your smartphone, and over your network, it will wirelessly update your smartphone so you now have all those 1,201 games or 50 games or 50,000 games or how many you have built into your phone, and you just use that application, and you scan through and be like, you know, I don't have robotron 64 for the nintendo 64 or i don't have you know something i don't have uh i don't know tony hawk 2 for the dreamcast or or, or whatever the hell so it just allows you to save time save money and not be a dick when you go out hunting for games and just buying up everything because you know that kind of sucks for the next guy that comes by so it's 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 a good idea and it's a good investment and i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you have any questions i can help you out the best that i can um these are the things here where you can you can link it with your smartphone so it'll say it's not finding my smartphone because my battery's dead on it but uh, it just shows you all this stuff and, and it's awesome i've never recorded with fraps recording the desktop before so hopefully you guys can see this but there's so many tools i have the basic one but you can do ones where it'll tell you how much everything's worth um, you know, do all that that linking and stuff for you. You can you, you can even get a scanner where it scans in the barcodes of newer games, and you don't have to type in any information. Just scan it right in. You can you, you know, you say you loaned a game to somebody. So say I sent somebody a game, and uh, you know, you know, Trevor has my I don't know Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X too. You know, he has that. You got columns and for folders. You can sort things differently. You can, it's just it's ridiculous. You can change all your layouts. So you want to have it like this? You can do that. You can. You know, you can change the layout to, I don't know, Game Collectors 3. I don't even know what the heck this is. I'm going to click iTunes. What the hell does this do? I don't know. It does that now. I didn't even click on that before. There's so much stuff that I've never clicked on. So, what was that? Oh, shoot. I don't know what the hell I just did. Now I can't get it back. Oh, screen layout. Okay, I think this is what I want. Vertical split? No, I don't know. Anyways, guys, I kind of screwed that up. But you can search it. You might collection status. It shows you all the stuff in collection, stuff you got for sale. You got stuff on order, stuff that's not in your collection, your wish list. I was going to update this, but I haven't yet. But uh, it's just, it's awesome. So, anyways, guys, just, you guys should really check this out. It's, it's an awesome program. And if I can figure out how to change the view back, I will do that. Classic layout. Awesome. So, I'll get out of my wish list here. And, uh, yeah, guys. So, have a great one. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully that my rambling made a little bit of sense. And uh, thanks very much.